Let's go to the mansion. I see it. That building up ahead. Classic cinematic in the front of the mansion. Nope, not this time. So there's a lucky emblem here. Oh. Thank you, Goofy. Let's see. Yes. Goofy's really helping. Where is it? Uh, more AP. 1010. 1020. Oh god, I'm taking you in. On your Congo. Extend available period of team attack commands. That's good, but it's not like very good. It's just okay, good. What Goofy has us? 202. I think he'll be better with 1010. And that way, we can give him Look Strike. Someone told me once that they don't make video games music as they used to. When the subject is video game, there's a lot of things that they don't do like they used to. But Kingdom Hearts songs, they're just, well, I have a playlist on Spotify just with Kingdom Hearts songs. Played by other, uh, other Musicians, of course, but still, they're pretty damn good. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> it was always been a creepy place. Hey there. <gasps> <gasps> Thanks for the heart I can't stand oh, that what? coat Did I from the hanger. Why didn't he bought something in his size? This is like for children, for babies, whatever. So how did it go? It's Donald's size, and he's a grown-up kid. Nope, afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep, this old mansion is our last hope. Sometimes the the mouth of the characters when they're speaking. Ready? Seems Another like Twilight Town awaits. See, it looks like it's fully synced, but sometimes it doesn't yeah. sync that way. I thought they would be synced for Japanese, but they really did two versions. Hainer, it was completely out of sync. Maybe Hainer was still in Japanese. Maybe. Just a hinch, hunch here, guys, just by looking at it. I don't have any official information on that. Here oh, we go. We're not walking in the mansion? Ah, come on. Eh, we're the right in the is, uh, sea, sea salt ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm in. Exactly. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh, oh, man. 
The transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. I guess the Twilight Town we will we explore and will really be at will then. be the data. And this Twilight is now. Town. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Who Another wants to find Roxas? Town? Roxas is barking as hell. And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas. Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... <laughs> okay, sharing is enabled. Huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine, there's a log of that data that... Yeah, but it's just data. Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and, and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh, you think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. Devious researcher? Right. Whoa, Thanks. he can do devious research with us. Oh, come on. Is he kind oh, of a fighter? We got work. Otherwise, they're gonna totally kick forgot. his ass. Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh. Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pets. <laughs> hey. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
It wasn't sea salt ice cream. I don't remember pretzel. Pixie salt ice cream was in the data data escape Twilight Town, right? Return to town. So what's next? To go back to town. Whoa, look at this. There's a unicorn symbol here. If there is a, it's all unicorns? It's all unicorns. Nah, so it's a, I thought if it was unicorn, uh, leopard, you know where I'm going at, right? Like from back over. The masters from back over. And here's the cinematic in front of the mansion. It always does. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho And Anson again. No, this is Xemnas. Xemnas. Roxas should never have existed in the first place. Exactly. What you seek is impossible. We will agree with that. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. He doesn't have a heart, he's a nobody. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? In your ass. Well, none of your concern. Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Ansem and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, it's completely yeah. different. Yeah. One is a heartless, the other is a nobody. In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish he'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back. Which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <laughs> Come to the dark side, Roxas. <gasps> Set your heart free. Wait! Uh, Are these guys always watching what we're doing? Can I get those views on Twitch? Because it's not darkness. What the hell? Give me a break. Is he getting bigger? Blizzard. Ah. 
Said, Sora is what we called in Brazil Boladão. He said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me, Donald? Goofy? Huh? You bet <laughs> you. I don't know what Ansem and Zemnis want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, what can we do now? I think I'm gonna put fire on square. Blizzard on triangle and water on circle. Okay. Right. Oh, come on.
Okay, we have no rush. I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. All right, took picture of it. Right here. I cleared this one already, Goofy. Well, stopping calling my attention for that. Yeah, I think we're good here. Who rescued my chef? Uncle Scrooge, famous huh? Chupa Chins. Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> it wasn't Hollow Bastion anymore. It was Regent Darden. Please, sir, Hello, get updated. Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why would you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Apple pie. Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you opened the bistro and turned <laughs> A bistro. Hi. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart short, it looks scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Seems fun. <laughs> little Chef's Bistro. A little chef bistro can transform the ingredients you gather into delicious meals. Eating cuisine, eating the cuisine you prepare, you prepare will grant you beneficial effects like temporary sets increase. The famous buffs. The recipes available at the bistro depend on the ingredients you gather. Be sure to scar each word you visit for the making of a new powerful recipes. Go on, lads. But we've only talked. We're still short. Let's keep searching. 
Ah, okay, when I was talking to him. We'll be needing a wee bit more. Okay, so he, he activates the beast robot. We need more ingredients, okay. Hang on, guys. Just a sec. Okay, I'm back, guys. Just to grab some water. Yourselves remember to remain... Remain drinking water. Sometimes not. Ah, okay, so we have a quest right now. Gathering the ingredients, like, right now. Is that... Ah, okay. Okay, let's gather those ingredients, then. Little ship needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. I know, Goofy. I just said that. Hope we find some ingredients around here. <laughs> oh boy! Let's see if there's more. This is like the quest from the first Kingdom Hearts on the Destiny Island when you need to get like tons of stuff for their trip that they never really make. I mean, they make a trip, but it's not quite what they leave. Little chef our help. We're not leaving. Now. We're just exploring. Come on, Sora, don't be a don't be an asshole. Three more to go. I think there's one here. Nah. This one we got it, right? No. Yeah, where is it? We're missing two. Oh, look at this. Let's see. No. Let's see. Are you seeing 
It's like this uh, Chinese food boxes. See, this is what we need. We're missing two. We took this already? Yeah, we did. Yeah. This one, we got it. Yeah. This one, we got it. Ah, okay. So it can be a basket fruit. Basket of fruit. Got it all, chat. Le Grand Brix Bistro. Hey, guys! <coughs> Hainer, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey, good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. <laughs> Come on. Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry and eager to spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, guys, capitalism is the only thing. That keep Gorgeous us sure from being socialists. Him. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're always on the but leave. We'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. I'm <laughs> not. Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes. Just look at them. <laughs> they get it far if funny because spell it out. these two guys are the final bosses for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Fair enough. Guys, this is a spoiler free zone for all Source the games from Kingdom Hearts except Kingdom away. Hearts 3, okay? So. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case. 
We'll Don't go freaking out on me if I spoil something from the previous game. That games. is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Mm.